I posted this on my Facebook page and well I didn't quite stick to it check out the video all right let's talk about it because I was definitely anti purchase used vehicle no less than a week ago what I do I purchase a used vehicle less than a day ago let's talk about it another way to tell you got the right vehicle is when you walk away from it and then you have to look back and be like God dang what's up with that that's how you know you bought the right vehicle Another way you know you brought the right vehicle, when you don't let people eat in it, not even yourself. Yeah, use the bed of your truck for your food. No food smell. That's when you know you bought the right vehicle. And you buy little stuff like that to protect you. Take your little covering or your little top. That's when you know you buy the right vehicle. Could be taken as anal too though, so. But it is what it is. Yeah, you wanna know how you bought the right vehicle? When you take the long road home like when you go to the store, instead of you taking a shortcut, you go the long road. You go down different roads. That's kind of how I am about this uh, 2020 F-150 Limited. Like the luxury is ridiculous. And then when you just be cruising, like the speed limit is 40 something, you know. You just cruise at 35. Got your jazz on. Going to get some chicken. Would have the roof open, but. Y'all see that? It's 100 degrees out here. So it ain't gonna be none of that roof open shit. But yeah, you know you got the right vehicle. You take long roads home. You don't go the shortcut. You ain't trying to get there in no hurry. You just chilling, enjoying your music. I'm gonna confess. I'm gonna confess. I always thought a V6 anything was just some bullshit. Like, I didn't want a V6, nothing. But I ended up with a V6, and I definitely want a V6 turbo. But I ended up with a V6 turbo in my 535i, 2015 535i. And I was impressed. I am impressed because I still got the car. And I stuck a dining exhaust on the car now, I don't know how it sounds from the outside, but from the inside, it still sounds like I got a V8. Now, I know it's probably not true on the outside, but on the inside, with an exhaust, it sounds like I got a V8. And then I get this truck, which has a 3.5 liter V6, turbo, and EcoBoost or whatever, and I'm impressed with the sound, I mean, the speed, it feels like a V8. And <laughs> it trips me out because I was like, there's no way I'd want a V6 car turbo. I still don't really care for the turbo, but it is what it is. But my reasons for not wanting those 
was invalid. Like the car still feels feels like a V8. It still has decent sound inside. I don't know what it sounds like outside. Uh, and on top of all that, it's economical. Like I rode this from Houston to DFW, which is like 200 some miles. And I barely use an eighth of a tank, a quarter of a tank of gas, barely use it. And I'm driving, you know, 70, 75. The speed limit ain't doing crazy. But I mean, it's, it's real efficient. So yeah, if you're on the fence about buying a V6 car, V6 turbo, V6 truck, now, I don't haul nothing in this thing, but I mean, from from the way it feels, it could easily haul whatever. I don't know what the towing capacity is on this truck, but I'm pretty sure it's able to handle, you know, boats and trailers and RVs that most people would want to pull. But yeah, man, V6, I, uh, I was definitely against them, but this day and age, that's all you're gonna get, V6 turbos. The V8s are dead. The manuals are dead. You're gonna have a few cars that still do it, but for the most part, if it ain't a V6 with a turbo, you're probably not gonna find anything else. I was even impressed with a force on the turbo, which is what Megan's car had. A 330 with a force on the turbo. I'm talking about it is, it's decent. I need to try to see if I can pull this big sucker. I don't even know if it'll fit in here with the mirrors out. It's close. We is close. Yeah, it's close. Look how close it is. That's not bad though, but I think if I put it in here, I might not be able to get this shit out. I could just close the mirrors. Have plenty of space. Let me take up this space for now. Keep it cool. But damn, can I get out though? Oh shit! This Porter Cachet, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's a nice look, but in terms of function, it needs to be about, it needs to be about a foot wider to really be usable. Like, I mean, you can get in and out. I ain't, I'm not gonna trip. You can get in and out. But in this truck, it's a tight squeeze. It's a tight squeeze. They should have made this, they should have made this like one foot wide. I move this garage over a foot onto the property. Even half, even six inches. I mean, uh, six feet would have been better. Well, six feet, I mean, six inches would have been better. But a foot, a foot would have been perfect. One or two more feet over that way. And this is very usable. Right now, it's a struggle. 